Okay, the information that I'm about to share is very similar for S1 and S2 pupils. So S1 pupils will be working from home on a Monday, Tuesday and Friday, and they will be in school learning on a Wednesday and Thursday. This will remain the same for the next three weeks up until the Easter holidays. All pupils will be allocated a group named from A to J, and this will be shared on the, the individual team's pages. So the registration page for S1 and S2 will be updated with which group they are in. And again, these groups will stay constant throughout the time that they're back in schools. They will be allocated a classroom. So if you are group B, you will know which classroom group B should report to when you come into school. And for the majority of the time, you will be working from this classroom. At times, there will be teachers that come to take you to practical subjects like science, home economics, PE, CDT. But other than that, you will be in your classroom to try and reduce the movement around the school and the contact across different rooms. So instead of our seven period day, S1 and S2 will be following a structure of four subjects per day. Each of these subjects will have a one and a half hour slot and it will be rotate round members of staff to give a good experience of a range of subjects. So S2, as I said, is very similar apart from you will be learning from home a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you will be in school on a Monday and a Tuesday learning starting Monday the 15th of March. The structure of the day is an 8.30 start as normal for us at Castlebury. So if pupils arrive just in time for an 8.30 start, what we're trying to avoid is people congregating at the front of school and within the school grounds. So very much that we're just looking to get a swift start at 8.30 uh, into school and into the classroom that your group has been allocated. So you will have a session from 8.30 till 10, then you will get a break. And again, if you can remember, please to bring a snack with you, that would be excellent. We've got another session from 10.15 till 11.45, 11.45 till 1.15, and then you will be allocated your lunch break. Again, packed lunch or the pre-ordered school lunch that you ordered in the morning will be delivered to the classrooms and you will have a chance to go to use the toilets. And then session four, 1.45 till 3.15. So just examples below, because I know there'll be a lot of questions about what am I doing and where should I be, uh, where should I be going? It's, for example, if you know that you are group A and you come in on a Monday and Tuesday, then you would know that the first day you're going to do art, English, modern languages, PE. So that would be your rotation. You don't need to worry about which order because staff will be coming to you and you will get told that morning about what you're going to do. Group B may have the same subjects, but in a different rotation, English, art, PE, modern languages. We have tried as much as possible to give a variety of opportunities within the school and experiences. However, we are quite limited because of the senior school and the reduction numbers in classes and still having staff available online for home learning. So when you're at school, you come in on time, you wear your mask, you get your temperature check and you go with your bubble. And really, these are the only people that you should be seeing within that day plus the four staff that come to teach your lessons. At the end of the day, it's really important that pupils again don't gather at the front of school and just make their way home and keeping safe at all times. So within the school, we have managed to do the two metre distancing um, and it's really important that all pupils and all staff adhere to this and really understand the impact that it could have in reducing the spread if there was to be a positive case within the school. When we are home learning, we have been really fortunate that we have managed to keep staff available for home learning. So on the days that you're home, you will experience a similar op, um, experience of what you've been doing for the previous eight weeks when you've been at home. So it's really important that we don't lose sight of the blended learning, but we're also really glad that we can get back in the building for two days a week. So hopefully you will see a big difference here. If you have any questions or if you have borrowed the device or anything like that, these devices will go back and forward until all pupils resume full schooling after the Easter holidays. If you have any questions, please drop me an email, nicola.downey at castlebury.edin.sch.uk and I'll be able to explain in further detail. Okay. My main communication with, pu with pupils sorry, will be via the Teams page for their registration and that's where I will be sending further examples of 
information and groups, etc. Okay, thank you.